We're coming to you live from Do Never Bank Here Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida. It's over 110 degrees outside. Man, is it hot. The only difference between this place and an oven is that ovens don't produce serial killers. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Nashville Lycans take on the Cracksome Skull Jugulars. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fried the concessions. He said, how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And that's how you stop an offense. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Two, hot, hot, hot. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them? Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left scared. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Well, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and six. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Jabot, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. You got to be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grab the stash. On it. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps off sides. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down and nine. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Don't you just 
love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when it... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot... hot. Great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but... What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. With another pick, the QB says, I don't know what's going on. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Hey, yeah, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Third down and a pussy. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that's another pick. And, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> First and ten. You need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And the defender. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want to get And the weather said, never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. 
Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Third and two. Kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. <laughs> if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. Oh! Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Now the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And the defense gets another pick. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. harder than that and that is unfortunate hot two and he breaks away and that's the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play oh no that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was also freaking awesome i hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere third down and six hot hot one hot two they run it for a yard. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Second down in a very lot. for 10 yards. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And like bricks is by. First and ten. Huh? Huh? Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that's 
that's another turnover for the one time when I was oh you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them and apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and it's first and ten just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips as they save the deli. Who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the uh, no mustard? <laughs> Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing. I just marked in his territory. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. He's just going to pop down the blue on his flip-flop. Not to mention his insides. Wasted away and get new, Phil. And it's first and ten. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And he sends him to the ground with an Point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's another pick. Man, oh, man. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker Drug. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the snow, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. It must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit them. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Second down and long. Out 
to know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 Yeah, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Out about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third and four. Destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the moon. That's peeing in the ashes and the smoldering remains. Ah, oh, you are truly a master poet, Grim. They want more points, so they're going for two. Well, that two-point conversion attempt failed miserably. I mean, with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he's off to the races. 
He's at the 10. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and 10. First down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. What is this, 80s wrestling? Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Brim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. You can't keep a good mutant down. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what if interceptions counted as touchdowns? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Ah, uh, the bingo! Missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Uh, not a ball's feelings are high. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He's in the 20, the 10, touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching his cheeks though. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And 
And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and 10. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. foot into that one and he snags the punt and looks for open field Boom! and it's first and ten oh and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there <laughs> Second down in a lot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. First and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do... And how about a little dirt sandwich? Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you game for time. First down and one. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a big He just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Well, that's what you call a killer one hitter, folks. I did a killer one hitter once and an ungrateful, undead riot fest. I woke up with three guys gnawing on my knee. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. And it's 
first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down of seven. Second down in a very lot. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and, well, good luck. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Uh -oh. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's a brutal hit. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> gain on that one. Like when Bricks' his mom decided to move back in with us. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second down and two. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Third down and the punter is warming up. The defender says, I don't think so. Oh my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And he scores! Now the 
it should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other guys. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. First down and seven. Perfect pass and the score! Can't tell if this is a seizure or a celebration. Either way, the fans are loving it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. And another interception. This oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two foot pots all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a drawing in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he's off to the races. He reminds me of that song. He stepped on a pop top and blew out his flip flop. Not to mention. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense coming on now. It's a sticky ball and dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Huh? And he was stuck to him like glue. <laughs> the 
The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will get it on the 20. And it's first and 10. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and 10. Oh, nice hit. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. the punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 20. But he just slipped away like a greased pig. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. <laughs> this guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scare. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks, wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? <laughs> the coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Oh, shit. I don't know which guy you First down and one. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and one. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. 
First down and one. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. to pick up the pace of the game. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's for under two minutes. A timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. First down! He was not going to drop. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And, it's, and the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Target on that throw. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> and the 
that Crunch and Skull Jugular seem to have run out of people to kill and win this one by forfeit. I should have known they'd know about anatomy. What with their name and all? I didn't think they'd actually pull the other guys apart and demonstrate it, though. This was practically a science show. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy.